Well, think about this. The presidential election is only seven months away in the city mm -hmm. of Portland, taking some new steps to prepare for potential protests. Now, the council voting today to fund the return of riot police. Digging deeper into all of this, Joelle Jones is live with reaction from the community. Joelle. Yes, as we head into that election season, Mayor Ted Wheeler said this new team is a must have to keep both property and people safe here in Portland. And while police officials argue that policies and laws have changed considerably since 2020, we heard a lot of distrust from community members, some who've received settlements from the city after having their homes tear gassed, others who say this agreement could grant a raise to officers who previously harmed protesters. This team has uh, a lot of eyes looking at them. Um, the public is watching internally within the police bureau. We are watching. All eyes on Portland's new public order team as the latest iteration of riot cops return to the Rose City ahead of the election season. Today, Portland City Council greenlit an agreement to fund the specialized team, including a 6% pay raise for the team's members, costing the city about $380,000 annually. In the real world, these people wouldn't be getting a raise. They'd be getting a performance improvement plan. I guess I don't have trust and I'm looking for how has anything changed? While police and city officials argued the additional pay is similar to other police specialty groups and is needed to cover the more than 40 hours of additional training, community members argued taxpayers are still fitting the bill for settlements related to the former rapid response team's handling of the 2020 protests. Night after night, the riot squad blanketed the city in tear gas, shot and beat innocent protesters, and targeted journalists who were recording their misconduct. The landscape of crowd management has completely changed since 2020. We have changes in Oregon law. We have a lot of changes in our policies. The former rapid response team disbanded in 2021 after a member wide resignation following the indictment of officer Corey Budworth, who was charged with assault following this incident in which he can be seen beating a photojournalist with a baton. After a formal apology, the charges were dropped. When one of their number faced just a smidgen of accountability, the entire squad resigned in disgrace rather than face that accountability. We need to get the best people that we can get in place, pay them according to the um, responsibility and specialty uh, that we are going to expect of them, um, and move forward. Now, in a statement, Juan Chavez with the Oregon Justice Resource Center said in part, without new accountability measures or a ban on including abusive officers from the 2020 uprising in the new team, the creation of the crowd control unit is likely a major backwards step. Now, I asked Portland police and they confirmed members of the former rapid response team will be eligible to join this new unit. Police officials say they are still working out what this training will look like, but tell us all of the 50 expected members will be required to train 96 hours. So, of course, we'll continue to track this closely. But for now, live in Portland, I'm Joel Jones, Queen 6 News.